if you don't know who the is Azim Jeng Ali please watch this video link in description below Hello, hello. Uh, today is a very special day. I will have a chit chat session with one of the best drummer, Mr. Azim Zeng Ali. Hello. Hello. What's up, everybody? Yeah. <laughs> he has been playing for many artists like Search, Fire Tahe, playing for big functions like Gagar Vaganza TV3. And on top of that, he has been performing for the Sultan of Johor. Yes. Yeah. So, if that is not intriguing enough, let's join our conversation. At what age you started playing drum and who inspired you to do so? I started when I was three or four years old. Um, <laughs> everything started when I saw when I first uh, saw my my grandfather. Pola na yao, pola classes, like uh, kronchong classes, like at home, just at home, kat depan rumah aja. But at that time, I was already into music and I, I couldn't really, I couldn't really play like actual beats or or three years old, three three years old. I couldn't, I couldn't even reach the pedal <laughs> properly at that okay. time. But I just. I just, I always need to be there, and I always, I always cried. I cried a lot, and I ask, I always ask my dad to, to carry the drum kit from the store, from our store storage unit, all the way to the front, just for me to, you know, be able to be in that, in that classes. Okay. But it was, that was one of the first, um, first moments where I was. Inspired to, to, to do that and to play drums and stuff like that. So ever since then, my dad has been uh, has been teaching me all sorts of stuff like um, some basic knowledge of music, how to read notes, how to play some best uh, basic pattern. So that's how I started. And is that your grandfather playing violin? Yes, yes. Okay, okay. I I think I I met him, did I? Yeah, you did. I think you did. Yes. You did. That was part 17, yeah. 15 years ago. Alright, second question. Okay, remember? Uh, do you remember what is the very first song you hit the drum? <laughs> this is <laughs> this is rare. Can you recall? Yes, of course. I know exactly the song. So the first song I ever played, um, it was. I think it was Mamat Exist in Lagu Ibu. Oh, Ibu! Okay, okay. Okay. That was the first one. Okay. Yeah, because it, it has a very straightforward basic drum pattern. So I I think I started with that song and actually played quite a few times. Um, I played along with radio or something like that. Yeah. Three, I, I couldn't even remember. Three but to five years old. Yeah, around there. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was a song. <laughs> that was a song. I remember. <laughs> Okay, now question number two. Okay, what are your secrets to be able to stay motivated playing your instrument until this age? And have you ever felt burnt out? Of course, you um, I like to find new stuff um, to keep me to uh, to challenge myself with with some new stuff like uh, something like. Let's say fusion jazz. You you have been playing that for so long, and so I want if I want to study something else. Let's say just just not not to play. Uh, let's say metal music. Not to play the music like really be uh, really play that that thing for for uh, to make a living, but just to update my you know my whatever knowledge that I already have so I tambah -tambah, I can just go for metal music or gen yeah. now we have like gen music it's yeah. very it's too extreme with rhythms and with lots of notes fast riffs so yeah I, I keep on digging that kind of stuff that, that could challenge my skills you know so but of course <laughs> after so long of course, I you feel burnt out uh, after a while, and that's exactly what happened to me four years ago. Uh, I just got back on my feet. <laughs> okay. Yeah, from the burnout, but it was quite extreme. 
to a level where you... Just shut everything else and focus on something that is completely different from what you do. Like for my kids, my kids. So I focus on the kids and taking care of them, uh, making sure the food is okay and, and yeah, healthy, healthy food for them <laughs> and keep the house clean, you know, stuff like that. Nothing to do with music but that's just what you need to do. You need to reset. Once you burn out, reset and after, after I don't know how, how, how long uh, you would need to be okay again to, to get back on your feet but that's what you need to do. And you don't have to rush. If you ever feel burnt out, don't rush. Take, take a step back, chill for a while, and keep, just try to keep everything clear. Um, stop whatever you do. Focus on something else other than what you do. And give yourself time. If you need one week, so be it. A month, so be it. A year, so be it. I it took me two years to, to recover. Two years to recover. Yeah. Yeah, because I understand you know, since your age is um, three to five years old, yeah. I feel you are now age yes. is almost like twenty years non yes. stop. Yes, exactly. So I'm sure at one point in your life you get burnt out. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. For some people it's a depression, huh? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> okay. Exactly what happened okay. to me. Great. So um Second last question, number four. Do you practice your dance every day, today? <laughs> if yes, how many hours? I know the answer, but for the audience. <laughs> now, for yeah, now, for now, for now. Dalam bahasa Sarawak ni, aku cuma ngantar saku aja. I, I I don't get to practice uh, like how I used to. I used to practice at least uh, a concert every day. So one concert is probably like three hours, four hours, two to four hours lah. One concert around that duration, I used to do that every day for the whole year. One concert, the same concert. So I did that for, uh, I did six concerts. So yeah, I played along to concerts for, for me to practice. But nowadays, you don't get to do that anymore uh, because of the, your schedule yeah. and... So, what is the timeline for the concert? Minimum 30, hour, 30 minutes or one hour concert? 30 minutes. Two hours concert. It's a full concert. Guys, okay. <laughs> so I... <st> <laughs> the first answer I ever hear for a musician practice with a concert. For us, we practice with song. Five minutes, five minutes, done. And we go, we go up. Yeah, I, guess. I mean, that, that's what I need to do. <laughs> I mean, at that time, I like to sort of like imagine that I was the drummer for, for that particular concert that I, I played along to, you know. So, I would just copy every every single thing, every single hit. Not not if, not just the, the drum patterns or whatever the drummer did in, in the recording, but also the facial expressions, the body language, what, what he did, every single thing, just to understand what was he doing, what, just to analyze, you know, like sometimes when you move your body, you, you're playing a drum pattern, sometimes when you move your body, that will make it groove more yeah. and automatically when people look at you uh, from, from the, uh, then they, they will be like, they, they would just yeah, they, they would just yeah. dance with you yeah. <laughs> automatically. Yeah. So that that's what I got from all those concerts. <laughs> one of one of those things. <laughs> so listen up, guys. That is Azim's secret to be where uh, his level now. Yeah, practice with the concert, not with one song. <laughs> okay, last question before we have our dinner. Um, what is your word of wisdom for our youth, especially in Malaysia? Those who want to play music, those who now play music or future. Your word of wisdom. First of all, don't be afraid to learn because it's just it's just a natural thing to do. We will never stop learn, learning until we die, right? <laughs> it's, you 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 can learn from everybody. Doesn't matter whether he's somebody in the industry or a newcomer because sometimes newcomers they they are crazy people 
you you have no idea what he has gone he or she has gone through during practices cup uh, anything he did at home kan, behind the scenes we don't know so the next thing you know he's just a newcomer but he plays well he, he can be in a band he can be with a great musicianship levels musicality so you just don't don't stop learning don't stop learning keep on uh, finding new stuff to practice um, to to brush up your hearing to to basically to challenge yourself you need to challenge yourself like like a lot that's just what you need to do um, keep on going and one more thing is that don't be afraid to go out in another word uh, if for example if you're in KL there's a lot of jam sessions going on sometimes uh, every weekend right so what you do is if you have any idea about any jam sessions just go there bring your your instruments go there and jam with whoever there there is on stage that's to me that is the best one of the best learning process because not only you get to perform not only you get to play some live music in front of a bunch of people but also you get to play with different people who you have never met before you have no idea like what how they play what they play you know and that kind of stuff would would make you fly in no time <laughs> yes all right okay right uh, thank you very much brother Thank so, you so much for having me. Yeah, yeah, thank you. And uh, you know, maybe we see each other after this uh, another 15 years, we don't know. Yeah, never know. Retire sudah. <laughs> okay, so that was a very lovely conversation with the best drummer in Malaysia. So if you want to see more of Azim playing drum, visit the channel called Drum Cam Channel, right? I will put the link below. So after this, we're going to have jamming session. Makan-makan dulu. Makan-makan dulu. Bye. Bye. And, to the boss. <laughs> Big boss. Nervous kena tanya eh Soalan-soalan semua Semua Rare 
no one has ever asked me this kind of thing like serious. Oh. Ah uh, yang third question tu ada lah tapi sikit-sikit banyaklah. Yang second question ni. Yang nak mencabar benda. 